Hello, fabulous ones. Welcome back to my channel. I am Marlo Keenan, and if you're new here, welcome to the Fabulous Family. Today, you already saw the title. I am going to do a review and all that jazz. These looks on the Wayne Goss Pearl Moonstone Palette, child. I am so super excited to get into this. So, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now, let's just get into it. Okay guys, I'm super excited to be using this palette today. I am not gonna lie, I am a fan of Wayne Goss. I'm a fan of just his technique. I'm a fan of his experience. I'm just a fan and this is my first item by Wayne Goss. I mean, he started out with his brushes and then his original first palette, his blushers, lipsticks. I mean, I have been wanting to try something and I'm so happy that I received this in the mail. It's so cute, the packaging. Wayne Goss, the luxury palette. This is in pearl moonstone. And just so beautiful. Wayne Goss right there. It's such a sleek palette. And they're numbered just one, two, three, four, five, six. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm like so excited. They just look so beautiful in the pan. Let's do some quick swatches really on my hand and then we'll move forward. Okay, here are the swatches. They are absolutely gorgeous. That celestial shade is woo child. They did feel really good and smooth to the touch and all of that jazz really nice cool tone shades the celestial shade I'm dying to dig into it so what I'm gonna do of course you know I'm gonna do I'm gonna just try to do one eye a little bit more softer and another eye I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit more deeper so I could really test out these shades and see how dramatic I could really go and y'all know I could go dramatic okay okay we'll start off with this eye first I'm gonna go in with my makeup by Mario Prime and set and I absolutely absolutely love this product by the way okay I brightened myself up just a little bit so let's go in first I'm gonna just take a nice fluffy brush and go in with shade number two and it's a really cool uh, gray right there and let's just do something soft on this side no really like kick up or anything like that pigment is there and I'm just gonna tap it ever so gently because I just don't know what to expect at the moment and so then let's just go head in with windshield wiper motions and all that jazz and let's get it on I like it I'm just gonna wing that out just a little bit just like such this is really, really pigmented, as you guys could see. Okay, <clears throat> I like the way it's laying down. I, off the bat, I feel like my other primer would have worked better with this shade, whether it would be in my P. Louise, the thicker base primers, or my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas, but I'll see. I will go ahead and use this again with those primers, but I do love the way it lays out and all of that good jazz. Now I'm gonna go ahead and deepen it up with this darker shade right here this is number four and I want to just darken up you know that outer corner a little bit and layer it up I do love layering shades so let's see how this turns out oh yeah you see how oh yeah pigmented the pigmentation is there right off the bat right off the bat look at that I'm gonna go ahead and feather that up I'm not gonna bring it in too much but I am gonna feather it up on this outer corner here and it's blending out really well I'm having no issues with blending having no issues with patchiness all right all right now I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this shimmery pinky 
blushy shade and I'm gonna put it right in the inner corner and feather it out I'm even gonna use a super fluffy brush to do so like an angled brush is what I'm gonna use because I don't want it to be super super opaque but just enough for a light flush oh yeah oh yeah perfect touch perfect touch for this simple look right here on this eye okay I like it super nice super quick super easy all that great jazz now I'm gonna go get my clean canvas eye base and do a whole different look on this side okay this time I'm gonna go ahead and use my Gerard cosmetics clean canvas base and this is in medium because it's a thicker base oops I got the wrong one this is white let me go get the right one okay here we got the right one it's in the shade medium I'm like out of it but you know I got backups so we're gonna use this base now instead because this is a much more thicker base this is the base that I use for my uh, dramatic more of my dramatic looks if you will because it's a lot it's a lot more you know thicker in consistency and creamier all right okay now with this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a packing brush I'm gonna take my Sigma e55 packing brush and I'm going to go into number four and I'm gonna stamp this color all over the lid we're still gonna do the layering thing but I want to pack this bad boy on and layer as we go now right off the bat I feel that the, my Gerard cosmetics eye base in this particular technique is better than what I did on the other side it's coming out so opaque because my natural all the you know the color of my lids and my lines are totally covered with this eye base you're not gonna get that necessarily with the Mario one I feel like the Mario eye base is more for when I'm doing like regular you know um, not so dramatic looks so let's keep on going ahead and packing and then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and blend it out Okay, now take a fluffier brush and start the blending process. Just like such. I'm still going to wing it out as well. I am loving the way this blends out. Now mind you, I'm still on the same shade. I'm just taking it up a little bit and blending it into, you know, towards my upper eyebrow and it is blending out perfectly I'm loving the way these shadows are working with this base for sure now I'm gonna go in to number two the lighter gray and I'm gonna go ahead and buff that out just slightly a little bit more with the smaller blending brush I'm gonna use a Mac one I don't even know the number of it because it's discontinued I've had it for years and I'm just gonna go right over you know the edges just like such and blend it a little further up into the brow bone Okay, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Y'all know I love more deeper looks. So now I'm gonna go into that black, which is number six. I'm gonna take a white haired brush. This is a little bit fluffy, it's smaller, and I'm just gonna really go gently and lightly because I do feel when I swatched the black, it was black. It was like a good black, and I don't want this look to go south. And so let's just see, let's just see what happens with the black, with this brush in particular. So I'm gonna go ahead and feather in the outer corner and it is feathering in very well I'm gonna take it up to the outer portion of this crease I'm not gonna bring it in all the way though I think I'm not gonna bring it in all the way this is really nice black this is a really nice black okay I'm loving it now you guys already know we're gonna go into number six here the celestial shade I, I don't even know I'm gonna put it right there in the inner corner let's try to use a brush first we're gonna go in with my Sigma shading brush e57 is just a little bit smaller than the original packing brush that I used and let's dip into this right on top oh oh my god oh my god this is so freaking beautiful 
and it's applying with this brush just fine. Oh my God, could you imagine if I wet it? I'm not going to wet it though. Oh my God, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that on camera? It's so pretty. Just right there, just right in the inner corner, just to give a little, mm. This is freaking gorgeous. This is like so gorgeous, so holiday. Okay guys, you know I'm loving the dramatic side always. And I'm loving the, you know, easy everyday side as well, but you know, it's like. So, okay, I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna go do the lashes, I'm gonna finish my face. And I will be back, as y'all know, with my final commentary, cause I got a lot to say. Okay guys, I got the lashes, got my makeup on and all of that jazz. I went in with the Fenty Beauty Glow uh, Lip Gloss. And these lashes, I don't know what style they're in, but I'm positive they are by Lily Lashes. And so I do like them, but you know, usually I would go for a little bit more of a dramatic lash, but I, I contain myself. This freaking Wayne Gloss Pearl Moonstone Palette is bomb.com. I absolutely love it. Now, I will tell you, again, I had used the Makeup by Mario base on uh, this eye here and then my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas base on the more dramatic look. I do like the way these shadows perform with my thicker base. And this is a base that I typically use for more dramatic looks. And you know, the Mario one for less dramatic looks. I love love the way both of them came out. Both sides blended out to perfection. The shades are wonderful. I do love the cool tones. They complement the celestial shade perfectly. And this is the a type of celestial shade that I like. Easy to pick up with a brush. You can still get that pigmentation on there. You don't necessarily have to use your finger. And that's what I really like most about it. I mean, it came on the lid just gorgeously. I mean, and even this side here, the shades just worked perfectly. Now, what I love about Wayne Goss, and I got to say this, is that he focuses on shades and palettes and textures and for everybody from young to older, you know what I'm saying? I am of a seasoned age and he creates these palettes so it could fit any age group. I mean, one of the women in his campaigns is I think above 60 and absolutely gorgeous and it looks fine on her just like it would look fine on somebody that's 20 years of age. And that's, you know, mostly what I really do respect and love about Wayne Goss. I didn't get that first palette, um, but I'm happy that I got the Pearl Moonstone one. I mean, there's nothing bad I could really say about it. Y'all already know. What side do I like the most? Comment down below let me know if you could guess it. I will let you guys know in the description, but I just want to know. For those of you who know me, which side do you think I like the best? I'm just, I, I'm just, you know, you know. But anyway, I do love this palette. I totally recommend this $55 tag. Wayne Goss is amazing. He's so inclusive and all of that good jazz. And it really is a glam palette. I mean, I mean, just, I just, I just love it. I do not know what to say. And I think I'm just so excited because I finally got something by Wayne Goss and I really totally respect him. The next thing I'm gonna be getting are those brushes, those eye brushes, so yeah. So anyway, if you love this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, y'all. Comment down below, let me know if you guys know what side I like the best to see if y'all really know me. Anyway, until my next video, guys, you know I love you and happy holidays. Bye-bye now.